everyone. Today we're going to do a bathroom tour. Come with me. So, so the bathroom has two interesting aspects to it. The first one I want to point your attention to is the sink. And what you do with the sink is you get some soap, you rub it, apparently you need to rub it quite a lot, and then you wash your hands. And this is supposed to be good for hygiene purposes. And there's a lot of evidence that it is indeed very good for hygiene purposes. Interestingly enough, the bathroom has another invention that is for hygiene, but this one is stranger. This particular invention is really rather odd. Here's what you do. You take a little piece of paper, there's this thing in the middle, you're supposed to take it, and you put it on top of the toilet. Now, what is this supposed to achieve? It's supposed to isolate us. Now, what do you think does more germs, on our hands or on our bums? Our bums are actually quite clean. If you have a choice between shaking somebody's hand or rubbing bums with them, uh, my guess is you will get much less diseases by rubbing bums. In fact, the Romans used to use urine as, uh, to, to, to clean their teeth as a, a disinfectant because urine has urea, which is actually uh, sterile and quite, quite good. So how did we get to this situation where we put this? In fact, I suspect that more people use this particular device than uh, wash, wash hands. So from now on, Think of this as quite an inventive marketing trick, but not really, really very useful. But on the other hand, do try to use your sink. Bye-bye.